Hello everyone, my name is Beric and I am one of the founders and lead engineers for the Redstone Development Foundation. In my last video I showed you my 16 character customizable display and at the end of that video I talked about upgrading the display to be a full ASCII. Well, that's what I've done. Uh, right in front of us is the, the screen. It is a 5x5 five five pixel screen. Uh, I chose 5x5 five because five uh, it's small but can still show the characters legibly and the switches instead of just four for my 16 character this has been up to seven so it's a seven bit switch input and every single character that you see on your keyboard in front of you can be shown on this display with the right combination of switches the combinations are matched up to the ASCII table chart so technically this is 128 characters but only 94 of which are printable so there's only 94 combinations that will actually do anything and you can look those combinations up on the ASCII table in Wikipedia or what have you so for example let's say I want to show an M for Minecraft Well, that's this and then that's an at symbol by the way we pop these ones here switch through to M. Ta-da! And those are all capitals. Now let's say we want the lowercase m. Well, that's just this little switch right here. We get a lowercase m. And like I said, every single character that's on the ASCII table, every printable character, is built into this system. So every character on your keyboard. Now, let's say we want to do something more fun, like, um, let's say, a question mark. There we go. Equal sign and question mark. All right. There you go. Piece of cake. The cool thing about this uh, system is that it's very user-friendly. Uh, as far as the interface, the display, and also changing characters. So let's say you look at that question mark, you're like, you know, it's too boxy. I don't like how that question mark looks. Well, if we go over here and go actually into the encoder decoder system itself, you can change a character to be anything that you want. So the character that is currently selected will be the one that is lit up or in other words the one whose repeater here is off so you can easily track whichever character you want to change and then each row that you see here this row and this row and this row those are all rows of pixels as you can see by the lit torches so the question mark has three pixels lit at the top one pixel lit here, another pick two pixels lit here, and then it goes down to its bottom dot pixel. So let's say uh, it's too boxy. Well let's just get rid of this and this. And voila, when we head back to our display, you'll see that the question mark has been changed. So all 96 character, or excuse me, 94 characters uh, can be reconfigured however you want. So that is the ASCII display. I've got a couple of additional plans for it. I'm going to add multi-character support so that uh, we can have more than one character displayed, so you can type out entire messages. I'm also going to change the interface from the 7-bit switches, which can be kind of confusing. I have to have it like the ASCII table in front of you to be able to decode it uh, to an actual keyboard interface to make it easier. So pretty soon we'll have multiple characters as well as a keyboard in which to type them all. So keep an eye out for that. Thank you for watching. Happy redstoning, and see you next time.